Hello and welcome to this BB Education cutting tutorial. In today's tutorial, we're going to work with a classic flat top shape. Applying this shape onto high textured hair. Hair that has a tight spiral and has been dressed out and worked into the shape. So firstly, we need to make an assessment of the curl pattern. So here we can see we've got a curl pattern working on a 4A. This means it's got a tight spiral. So we're going to firstly pull that spiral out using an afro comb. Working from the root to the tip to essentially dress out all of the hair to show the expanded shape. The expanded shape is simply all the hair pulled out. So now we've got ourselves ready, we can start to place our sections, which is a curved section running from roughly the width of one finger, right at the front of the ear in a curved section, to the occipital bone. Here you'll see a diagram that has the zoning line, which is essentially the parietal ridge, which is the black line. The blue, which is our skin fade, that's where we're going to work with no guard. The green, which is where we're going to work up to our grade one. And the red, which is where we're going to have a three guard. So this just helps us map out the contours of the head to see where it's suitable to, in regards to how high we can take the fade. So here we're not taking the fade too high. We're just starting with our neck trimmer to remove all the hair, taking it right down to a zero. So now we can go and part for our red line, which is where we're going to take our grade three all the way up. So this is much, much higher, leaving much more hair out the way. So now we put a three guard onto our trimmer and we're able to go through and just remove this. So this is just really getting rid of the ball to help us really see the head shape. You can see this is not really short enough to blend out the fade line, but it is short enough to help us make decisions on the suitability of how high or how low we need to fade out the line. So once completed, we just put a one guard on, but we use it open, which means it's slightly longer than a normal one guard. We use a slight scooping motion here, not necessarily following the head shape, but scooping away as we hit the line, helping us to fade the line out, but not actually take away the whole section to the length of a grade one. Then we use the grade one closed, which is slightly shorter. And then we take the guard off and just use the trimmer on open. So this is not quite a zero now. It's like a 0 0.5. And this is really helping us to fade out our line. Then we go through with it closed. And as you can see, that really helps us to fade out any lines. So once we've completed one side, I'm going to go now and bring down the top section, pull it out so we can see the expanded shape, use my trimmer with no guard and on a closed setting and work off the head shape. So this is off the width of the head, straight up, using a real wide tooth comb to keep pulling the hair. I work from different elevations, so now I'm working from the front to the back, whereas a moment ago, I was working from the back to the front. Usually, I would do both sides on the fade first. But for the purposes of the tutorial, I wanted to really complete one full side so you could see where we and how we were working. You can see here we're following up, just creating a vertical square shape. At this point, we're not trying to necessarily get it perfect, but we just want to remove all the excess hair before we start the other side. We'll do the other side in the same way we did the first side, working into the back with our fade line, working to the grade three to remove the bolt, to see the head shape, to check suitability. Then we go to the one open, then the one closed, then no guard open, and then no guard closed.
Once completed, we can go ahead and start the other side in the same way we did the previous side, using our trimmer to go straight up, removing any excess and creating a clean, soft shape. So it's important not to take the vertical shape too low when it comes to the back of the head due to the head shape being different. At the back, obviously, the occipital bone is what we're going to base our vertical shape off. So if you try to go from a higher point than that, you'll start to show the round of the head. You'll lose the nice connected vertical line. We go straight to the front and work in the same fashion. Once we've got all of our sections correct, we can work from the top. I always choose to start in the middle and then work from the middle out, giving myself a rough shape before I go through and connecting my horizontal flat shape. I often say that this haircut is simple, but not easy. You have to be very careful not to over comb the hair at this point, because the more you comb, you'll keep finding more to take off. And what that will do is you'll see you'll lose the thickness in the lines. You'll almost be diluting the lines slightly. So we keep at this point, we keep going over using the mirror. Once we're happy and there's only a few little pieces, I tend to get my scissors and just go over and just make sure that there are no little bit, but keep changing the way you're looking at it. See what changes as you move around, as you change your focal point, what changes in your vertical shapes, what changes in the horizontal shapes, and use your scissors just to really perfect our shape. So here we have our end result. Very simple, classic, flat top, working with a zero skin fade, into a grade three. We really hope you've enjoyed this BB Education cutting tutorial and we hope to see you again soon.